Sean, thanks so much for taking the time. I definitely appreciate uh, coming on to chat about Too Rough. Um, this was, I got to tell you, I just saw this at Holly Shorts, uh, and it was one that I was excited about because I had heard about it through just, you know, all the emails that come out about the shorts. Uh, nice. But being a part of the LGBTQ community as well, I was very interested in what this was. And halfway through, I was like a little sobbing mess. I can't believe it. Really? Um, yeah. Aww. You know, I, I got to tell you the scene that really stuck with me before I dive into sort of, you know, asking what uh, that's one. led to all this. But it was a scene where uh, the, the little brother is sitting on the bed uh, mm. and Nick is covering his ears. And then Charlie goes right behind him and covers his ears. And that just completely melted me right away. Um, so I just thought that was really well done. Very impactful for Thank a short. Uh, well, tell yeah. us what led to this. What led to Too Rough? What's the inspiration? Um, I think really I just wanted to write about a character that was in hiding from their lover in some way. Um, because they felt like part of them was too rough to be loved. Um and I wanted to throw him into a hellish <laughs> sort of trap where inevitably he would have to, well, he didn't have to open up, but he decided to um, to be loved and to uh, open his heart to love. And um, that's the story I really wanted to tell. And I had a lot of... Um, a lot of experiences in my life which I was able to put into the film um, which really helped me uh, I think <laughs> na navigate those me memories and those those things it's mm -hmm. a cathartic experience there yeah well that's the thing about directing is like if you're in a powerful role but you're also being vulnerable if you're a writer so you're vulnerable but powerful which i think is the best yeah. way you can be that's excellent can you talk a little bit about casting for this uh because the two leads are just uh, very mesmerizing together on screen and very authentic i think for the, the story that you were trying to tell yeah well i really wanted to um stay in scotland and we did for for ruri uh, plays nick it's from edinburgh and yeah, he was the only option for me as soon as I saw him, I just knew. Um actually we I really didn't want to go to London to find anyone because I'd had this weird I like I didn't trust that they could do a really good Scottish accent, but I was proven <laughs> wrong because Joshua, uh, who's from London, did an amazing accent and an amazing job. So um he was a lot harder to cat to find Charlie actually, but um yeah, I'm so happy they did. They did an amazing job. You you mentioned that there were uh, parts of this film that sort of helped you kind of navigate memories and stuff from the past. Um, is there is there one scene or something that sticks out for you in this film that really kind of just drives home the meaning of it for you? Um. Yeah, um, there's a quite an uncomfortable scene where Nick's father is lying on top of him drunk, and I experienced that a lot as a child. And when when it happened, I used to just promise myself that one day I would tell my story to the world. And um, when we were direct, when I was directing that scene, I was alone in the kitchen watching it on the monitor, and the whole cast and crew were in the room. And it was a really strange, it was like um, occupying a memory yeah. from the outside. Um, and yeah, I was I was in floods of tears as well. And luckily I was alone and I was able to have that um, that time. Just, but it really felt like I was fulfilling my, that kind of contract I'd made with myself when I was young. To Because um, I think when you, the appeal of like writing and artistry is that, um, you maybe feel so lonely and that requires writing means you can have hundreds of friends everyone that watches it is almost like um keeping you company in a way so you get to have hundreds of friends and almost like a family with like an audience sure it, it sounds just from talking with you i can tell that this was such a powerful experience and at least the film itself probably must feel um, kind of a little bit of like a weight off your shoulders in some ways. 
Um, what do you hope that audiences take from this? Um, I think I've had like varied responses. Most most of the time, people are sort of slightly traumatized, which <laughs> I'm sorry for. But um, I some someone came up to me afterwards, and the, it's always that scene that you mentioned that people really respond to. And she just said, "I I wish I'd had someone to cover my ears like that when I was young. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd had those hands over my ears." And she was she was crying, and and then I was crying, and then. On the other hand, someone watched it and said, um, uh, "Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I like that. I'm not sure how I feel about being confronted by abuse like that." And in my head, I was kind of like, "Well, you've obviously never been abused then, and I guess it's about comforting the disturbed and disturbing the comfortable, right? Like that. Um, both of them are very valuable things to do." Yeah, I think that makes it all the more powerful when, you know, you're, you're, you're encountering that on film, uh, and you're made to feel uncomfortable. You're, I mean, even just talking about this and talking about that scene is like making me tear up a little bit because I, oh. I just can't stress enough how I, I said authentic earlier, but how emotional uh, the film feels and it comes across and that doesn't always happen, especially in a short film. I think it's really challenging to capture that. Um and, you know, the, I think the setting as well in the bedroom and just really focusing on uh, those individuals uh, and you get to know them very quickly and deeply just through the limited time you have. So I just commend you on that because it's, 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 it's a great film um, and one of my favorites, honestly, that I watched at the festival. Um, thank you so much. You're I'm very so glad to be here. You liked it. What's next for you? Are, are any other films on the horizon? Any other projects? Yeah, so I'm I'm developing my first feature just now. I can't say too much, but um, as a better gay couple who evoke a supernatural entity, which is manifested by their by their love, by their relationship, and it's very benevolent at first and kind of wonderful. But um, most of my projects get quite dark. So um, it as the relationship evolves, um, it descends into a kind of nightmare. Yeah. That sounds really exciting and entertaining um, or intriguing would probably be the better word there. Yeah. So I look forward to keeping an eye on that. And just once again, thank you for taking a few minutes to talk about the short Too Rough. Uh, and I hope that you have continued success with it. Thank you. I will get back to my dinner, which I accidentally like flipped onto the floor when I realized <laughs> I was late for this meeting. So I'll go and pick it up from the floor and eat it. Quite <laughs> Enjoy dinner and thank you for taking the time. No, thank you so much, Joe. You're welcome.